Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on finding slope of the tangent of two function given, and we're supposed to set it equal to zero. So basically, we need to find the derivative of the function, and here we have a product rule. So derivative of the first one is cosine x. Leave the second one alone. Add, leave the first one alone and tangent. Now this one always struggles to remember its secant square until I figure it out. Well, can you just uh, sine x over cosine x, which is tangent. Now if you can memorize it, the secant, great. If you can't, like I can't, then I usually try to do it quickly because it's a quotient rule. Okay, and that end out to be one over that, which gives the secant. But anyway, so we have to set this one equal to zero. Then we have a zero equal to, let's pull the sine x out. Because for this one, it's really sine x over cosine x. So cosine cancels out, and then we're left with one for the first term, plus secant squared x. So basically we have two solutions, sine x equal to zero, which is pretty easy to solve. And we'll talk a little bit about the second one, which I think is the, actually the interesting one. Here I'm just going to draw the sine curve between 0 to 2 pi, because that's where we're specified to stay within the constraint here. And the, here's the sine curve. Of course, I have the three solutions. So x equal to 0, x equal to pi, or x equal to 2 pi. It's a sort of solutions on this side. Now secant. Obviously, secant squared x can't be equal to minus 1, but it had to be anything, so basically there's no solution for this side. If you're interested in finding out the curve for the secant, for a long time I struggled when I was learning this. can't never quite remember what the secant looks like until I realized it's just a 1 over cosine. So I draw the base foundation here. This is just the cosine curve. Okay. 1 over cosine, which is secant. So when x equal, when cosine x equal to 0, quote unquote, the secant blows up. So, so here's my secant curve. It's a flipped around version. Okay. And then here's undefined, and then coming over here, this chunk goes down. Here's my secant curve. And so on and so forth. So on the test, if see the teacher asks you to find something else other than secant square equal to minus 1, which we don't have a solution, obviously. Um, secant x can't be an in imaginary number. But anyway, draw, learn how to draw a secant curve. It's, it's I don't know how important it is, but it's kind of cool that you can figure out from the cosine curve. All right, so anyhow, for this particular problem, solution is 0 pi and 2 pi. A general solution, if they didn't interest, if the, if, oh, it's a Saturday, my tongue is tied. If they did not ask you to stay in a 0 to 2 pi, then your general solution is x equal to m pi. And n belongs to the integers. But for this particular problem, we're given 0 to 2 pi restraint here. So 0 pi and 2 pi. All right, that's how we handle this problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making math fun. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.